do me a favor, take it up to 7, but down to 50 hertz. And let's see what that gives us. I like that better. Okay. Okay, okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually try to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is even up the tissue from 8 to 9. The second thing is I see just a little bit of irritation up in here, and I'm just going to go through and laser the outside and the inside of this pocket around the implant, just in case I can enhance if there's anything going on there. Okay? Pick up just a touch. There we go. Can you hit the operate button for me? Yeah. Now she has topical anesthetic only, so everything we're doing now is... How are you doing, Janet? Fine. All right? Uh -huh. A little less, a little less, a little less. A little less? Okay. Yeah. Okay, more than less. Yeah, she'll give you the high side. Yeah, when you need a little. All right. Right, and then he wants to see the... Do you want the light on or off? Bring the light on. Yeah, well, you want water on the surface of the tooth. You know, 3.3. Protecting yeah. the tooth with the water. At 50 hertz. You know. Remember the 50 hertz by lowering the hertz, more comfort for the patient. Right. Okay. So now, at this point, my gingival contour is equal to or a little higher than the one on the implant. So I'm just going to go in now and lightly. Just touch up the edges. Oh yeah, just barely drawing it, just paintbrush effect. Contouring. Okay, now I've done that, and now I'm going to do just a touch to the implant, and then we're going to turn the setting down a little bit more and go into the sulcus for the implant. Now let's just make this contour right here. Okay, we'll wipe that off. Little spot right there. Okay, so there's our tissue recontouring. Trying to make the centrals the same size. Okay, now. I'm just going to take and slide this into the sulcus. Okay, so now I'm down inside. What's that doing? I mean, they're just sterilizing the pocket. You see that? Can you see that little yeah. spot right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want to make sure that if there's anything going on there, I'm going to take care of it. Preventively. Preventively. Okay. Just like what hygiene does. What do you think mm -hmm. that is? Cool. Yeah. Uh, epithelial entrapment, maybe on the. Okay. Just like what hygiene does. What do you think that is? Cool. Yeah. Uh, epithelial entrapment, maybe on the. Now I'm going to come back and lightly dehydrate the tissue on the outside. Again, see the painting motion. And when you see the tissue turning frosty in color. See that? I could do the same thing over here. And all I'm doing now is just making sure that the tissue is nice and sterile, free of any potential problems. A little bit of water on that. And you just clean it off. I'm going to do just, just a touch, one more spot here, Janice, and I'm, then I'm done. Just a little bit of water. The preset sets you at 5 and 50, and that'll be, you know, depending on your laser, his laser, yours might come out bad. Okay. One nine, this one might. A little water helps that. The tissue now looks a little bit whitish and reddish, okay? 
I'm going to show you a case that we did this afternoon where we took a tooth out, lasered the tissue. I have a 24-hour post-op and a one-week post-op. And in 24 hours, it's a little reddish looking. And in one week, it's perfectly normal. It's absolutely beautiful looking. So this is now going to heal underneath that very, rap very rapidly. And does it hurt at all? No. Right now, can you touch it? Yeah. Doesn't hurt. So even though it's going to go a through a healing phase, but it doesn't hurt. and when we were doing it, only when the water wasn't right. there, then you started to feel it. Okay. So you don't want to you want to treat this like a wound, but you don't want to oversensitize them to pain. Just don't touch it. 